this is Jax. He is just out of the bath, so that's why he's wrapped up in a towel. Get a little too much to drink there, buddy. Jax is a rescue. He's been with me for a couple of years now. And he's about four, maybe five years old. I'm not really sure. The previous owner really wasn't sure how old he was. But he was in pretty bad shape when he first came to me. He was very thin. He was so dehydrated. His eyes were sunken in and his skin was so wrinkled it looked like a hundred year old man that had been out in the sun most of his life. It looked like it was just about to fall off of him. His living conditions were just horrible. He was living in a, a 75 gallon tank which was fine and it's still what he's living in. But he was living in sand mixed with his own feces and I promise you it looked like it was a 50-50 mixture they had not cleaned that sand out which he shouldn't have been on the sand to begin with but they just let his feces lay in that sand and let him lay in it he had a bacterial infection from living like that he also had no UVB and what little bit of heat he had was supplied to him by a very tiny, and I mean tiny, red heat bulb and a 40 watt household bulb. That was his heat. And he didn't even have anything on the t inside the tank with him that he could get up on to try to get close to that little bit of heat that he was being given. So when I brought him home, the first thing I did, of course, was clean that tank out, get that sand and his feces out of it and put him in the tub and I never saw a bearded dragon drink so much water when he was in that tub and he hated bats in the beginning when I first got him he just tried to do nothing but climb the sides of the tub trying to get out of it so he must not have been used to being put in water and having a bath so I don't know how they were giving him water if they were at all and his diet was very poor he was being fed crickets what was that he was being fed crickets and uh, lettuce and apple I believe is what they told me they were feeding him you're okay baby he was so filthy that you couldn't even see his colors if you look you can see all the pretty orange and yellows on him but when I brought him home he was just brown because he was so covered in that sand and when I got him out of the bath and saw how pretty he was, I mean, just look at the colors on him. He's just absolutely gorgeous. He's such a calm little guy. He doesn't really like to be held much, so I don't think they ever got him out and held him. So I don't... He'll, he'll let me hold him for a few minutes usually, and then he'll want to get down and run around and explore. So I don't, don't try to force anything on him. But now, uh, after I got him cleaned up and got his cage cleaned up and everything, I, I did take him to the vet, and he had a bacterial infection from, I'm assuming, living in his own feces. He had parasites, and he was in the early stages of metabolic bone disease. So, thankfully... <clears throat> I was given medicine for the bacterial infection and the parasites and they all cleared up and with the proper diet and UVB and everything it looks like we've caught the metabolic bone disease in time too because he he seems just fine his last checkup everything was perfect he is uh, considerably overweight which is my fault because it, in an effort to plump him up I was feeding him super worms and he got in the habit of only eating super worms and vegetables a couple of times a week, his greens and vegetables. And then he got where he wouldn't eat anything anymore but super worms. So now 
we are in the process of having him on a diet. He's he only gets a couple of superworms a week, and the rest of the insects he's getting dubia roaches and some mealworms. I don't ever give him crickets anymore. Uh, I do have crickets in the house for my other animals, but I don't give them to him. I'll, I'll give him some mealworms from time to time, but mostly roaches is what I'm giving him, just because he does need to lose a little bit of weight. But he is doing so much better. I wish I had some pictures that I could insert in this video of what he looked like when I first brought him home, but I have looked and they must have been on my old computer because I don't I can't find any of when I first brought him home. So say hi to the camera. Say hi to everybody. You got wave. Wave to everybody. Yeah. He's such a pretty boy. I'm surprised he sits still this long. So that is Jax, my bearded dragon, one of my many rescues. I'll be posting some more videos of some of my other animals. So check back, hit that like button, hit subscribe so you know when I got some more videos of some of my other animals up. And I've also got a few DIY project videos up that you might want to check out. Whoops, you drink a little too much water. Mm -hmm. Okay, say bye to everybody. Let everybody see your pretty face one more time. Say bye-bye. Whoops, say I'm out of here. <laughs>